we what's going on what's going on i hope y'all doing good hope y'all doing well this is gonna be a fun and interesting and type of it's gonna be a different type of video for y'all and for me as well so strap in we're gonna have some fun let's do it so in this video I was at the grocery store the other day and I was like, you know what? I want some jerky. And I uh, came across a couple, you know, big name brand jerkies. And I started reading all the ingredients. They're not bad ingredients. It's just they have all these preservatives because they can sit on the shelf forever. And jerky lasts forever anyway. But I want to experiment and I want to make my own jerky so I did a little bit of research so this is gonna be one video for you guys so I got me some eye round thin uh, steak beef eye and round thin steak went to my local store got it Saves, it saves time from just, you know, cutting the big chunk of meat and this, it's already pre-sliced, so now I just slice it to the slice of the size of my preference. So, to get the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna make the, we're gonna marinate it in this tub for 12 to 14 hours. I'm just gonna let it sit in the fridge after I make it and let it soak. So let's do this. We're gonna have some fun. We're going to have some fun. I got some good ingredients here. I got some Worcestershire sauce, some liquid smoke, soy sauce, some garlic, onion, and black pepper and salt. And some light brown sugar. All right, so first things first, we're gonna cut the meat to the size of my preference. The main, main, main ingredient is going to be Lancy straight bourbon whiskey, small batch, 92, weeded bourbons, mash bill. We're gonna put a cup of it in our mix. So we'll put this bad boy right here. There we go. All right. Oh, we're gonna need gloves. So I looked on, on the internet. I got a couple recipes uh, off there. So this is pretty much your first starter of making your own jerky recipe so but I also looked up at like you know mixing up with the bourbon or like any kind of liquor of your preference it's just basically except for using water you're using your liquor to uh, solidify those meat fibers okay look at this look at this man yeah, buddy, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Cut up the meat, cut up the meat, cut up the meat. Oh man, nice and thin. Look at how thin that is. That's great cut. Now I'm gonna just cut these in thirds, just like so. All right, fours. That right there turned into four pieces. Look at that, all right, that's good. That's really good, yes. I'm liking this. We're gonna open this up. So I'm just gonna put the meat in here as I cut, because I can only got so much room. 
Alright. Because I'm going to use all of this. So I'm going to fast forward you guys. It's just me watching cut meat. I'm going to do that for you guys right here. Alright. Now here's the main ingredients. I got some cups. Got my ingredients. I'm just going to do what you do, what you think is going to be the right amount of your ingredients. Cup, half a cup, three fourths of a cup, whatever. Uh, I've got a really nice large bowl right here for the amount of meat, so I want to keep this, I want to cover this. That way it marinates really good overnight in my fridge. So, first things first, Worcestershire sauce. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry. I'm going to do a full cup of Worcestershire sauce. Say that three times fast. Alright. Keep going, keep going. We're at a half a cup. Alright, there's a cup. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's that's mm, yeah, perfect, perfect. That looks good and seasoned. I like that. Some uh, liquid smoke. Bingo. Oh, that smells good. About a teaspoon and a half. There we go. Like so, some soy sauce. I'm just add about a cup of it, half a cup, depending how I feel. Yep, there we go, there we go. Alright, and the main ingredient Lancy. Great bourbon whiskey. Oh yeah, here we go. Pork test. That's a complete zero. I'll even hear no pop. Okay, yay! I'll give that a nine. It redeemed itself. A cup. There we go. There we go. I even need a half a cup. Oh well. And all you gotta do, white brown sugar. Brown hair. Sorry. Shouldn't have done that. It was funny though at the time. Light brown sugar. Light brown sugar. Oh, there we go. Okay. Need more gloves. All right. Time to get them. Mix it in there, get it all nice and get all that meat and the brown sugar, the bourbon, soy, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, however you want to say it. Get it all nice and blended. Get it all nice and blended. The, and the, the uh, garlic and onion powder, pepper, salt. Get that all in there. Guys, soak for in the fridge for about 12 to 14 hours, and then we're going to put it in my dehydrator. I mean, this look how. Oh, that, yeah, I almost spilled it. I mean, this look how good that looks. 
I mean, that's a make your own jerky, you know what's in it. You know about preservatives and stuff and everything that all the other uh, and you can put this in it. You can put your own liquor in it. Why not? Alright, so day for me, a second for you guys. Let's do this. One, two. Okay. So, like I said, we are making jerky. A bourbon flavored jerky. Uh, that in the fridge for about 12 to 14 hours to let it marinate. Ingredients that I put together, you know, for you a few seconds for me, the whole day. Uh, actually, a whole night. It's the middle of the day right now, so it's getting to pretty be noon. Uh, so, take these out, and I dab them a little bit on the plate to get some of the extra juices off them. I'm going to just throw in the, my air fryer slash dehydrator slash whatever bake. I'm going to dehydrate for four hours on 170. I think that should be good for four hours for 170. To get, and if it's not, I'll put it, keep it going longer. Just as you know, uh, my preference. So let's get to this. Just like that, I see you on four hours. Okay, so the time is finally here. Can't believe it. So much fun. Long process, but I'm sure it's gonna be well worth it. Uh, then I let this dehydrate for four hours and 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, I'll let it cool down for maybe 10 minutes. So I can even touch rack and stuff. It's up it's hot so I'm gonna let this sucker sit. So here is the final product. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh my nice and tender and juicy but mmm so good. This is good jerky. The flavors are there. I taste the bourbon actually. Like I taste the flavors of that bourbon, that flancy bourbon. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. This is so good. Hmm. So if you have a dehydrator home, go get some sliced meat, marinate it overnight, let it sit, let it cook for four hours the next day. You have to yourself some good quality jerk. Cheers to y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.